The squad is back as the Navarro cheerleaders return for season two of the Emmy-winning documentary. This time, the stakes are bigger, the tosses are higher, but one question still remains. Who will make Matt? Take a look. It's definitely the hardest season I've ever had. Everyone just felt lost. Cheerleading is the only thing that can get my mind off of everything else. We go through this whole year grinding and dying and getting hurt just to compete. Navarro and Trinity Valley battling it out yet again. And Coach Monica Aldama is here with us now. Welcome. Good to see you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Listen, I can't wait to talk about Cheer Season 2, but first, this is a huge day for you because your book is out. How are you feeling about it? Because that is a labor of love. Um, yes. Oh, my goodness. I've been working on this for so long, and it's scary to do something new and get out of your comfort zone. But yeah. I'm so excited. I cannot wait for everybody to read it. And, and who did you write the book for? Because it's called um, Full Out Lessons in Life and Leadership. So who did you want to write the book for to begin with? You know, I, I just finished my 27th year of coaching. And so I've talked about writing a book for years just because I had so many stories and experiences. And um, after Cheer came out, I had a lot of people reaching out to me, wanting advice on everything, you know, from parenting to relationships to coaching. Um, to have, how to have more self-confidence. So I thought, you know, this is really time for me to, to write that book. And I have all this experience, you know, working with uh, young adults in um, different uh, techniques to be successful and what I think are the core values. And they really apply to everything in life. And I think to everybody. Yeah, you know what? And I'm just curious what, you said this took you a long time to write. What was the hardest part for you to write about, do you think? Oh, goodness. You know, um, probably writing about my divorce, you have to be very vulnerable, and I had to hold myself accountable. Yeah. Uh, you know, self-accountability is such a, a big thing for me, and I have to do that for myself, too. Yeah. Um, and like you said, there's a lot of lessons in this book that we can apply to every part of our life, because I, I like that you kind of compare this to coaching and, and cheerleading, because you say we're all kind of training for that Nationals yeah. in Daytona moment, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, well, one of the most interesting chapters, I thought, was reading about your experience on Dancing with the Stars. And I say that because it's one thing to have to compete <laughs> at this show, but it's another thing because you're going through some personal stuff yeah. behind the scenes that nobody knows about. Right. So overall, what was that whole experience for you like? Um, you know, it was tough. I, I went in, um, it, I, you know, it was a scary moment to think about going on national TV, but I was confident as a competitor. I've done that my whole life. Right. And, and when I got there, I was shocked at how intimidated I was. And um, I was starting to kind of let the outside noise get in my head and yeah. things that Which I know is better. easy to do. Yeah, and I know better. Right. And, uh, you know, I had to talk myself through it. It was, it was uh, difficult, but, you know, it was still a dream come true. I've been a fan since season one. Yeah, and being a coach, was that hard for you to be coached? You know, it really wasn't. The problem was, I think, the outside noise, I was letting that get into my head, and uh, everybody made such a big deal about the coach being coached. So I was trying to be this perfect student, yeah. and I kind of got away from what I knew that I should be Your doing lessons, with you yeah. know, those lessons. And then I, I got back to those and definitely got in a much better place. Yeah. Well, let's talk about Cheer Season 2. The first uh, season was such a huge hit. There was a lot of drama uh, yeah. related to the show. Was there ever a question of Season 2 happening? Um, no, you know, I thought that Greg Whiteley, the you know creator of the show, did such a great job of, of telling our story. We trusted him, and you know it was up to them if they wanted to come back and, and continue to tell our story, and they did. So yeah. And so, how did you keep all these kids grounded? Because now they're famous <laughs> from this show. Yeah, you know, I mean, it, it's really not that hard because I think when you um, come from circumstances where you have to overcome yeah you know you always are grateful for opportunities so we always said we had an attitude of gratitude yeah well I love that and I can't wait to see season two I watched the last three episodes of season one again <laughs> last night just to refresh and I'm watching way more than I thought well full out is out today and you can meet Monica tonight at 6 p.m. at a book signing at bookends in Ridgewood New Jersey and cheer season two begins streaming January 12th on Netflix thanks so much for stopping in thank you